Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom font to your show it website. So before we dive in, I want to show you what kind of license that you'll need. So if we go to a website like creative market, I'm on Jen Wagner Co's fonts and I go to something like perfectly nineties, which is a font I don't own right now. You'll see a few different options in here. If you would like to use this on your website, you'll want to make sure that you get the web font license. And then you also need to put in your number or amount of page views a month because that's going to change the price. Um, let's just go with this one by default. And then I would want to purchase this font. Once you already own a font though, you can download it. So I'm going to download these files. And when I unzip the files, I'm going to see a few different file types right here. These files are a good place to start, but we're going to need to generate a few more font files in order to get this font to work correctly on our show it website. So I'm going to search for an online font converter. Um, we often recommend this one. It just happens to be down at the moment. Um, and then I also like this transfonter. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add my fonts. And if I have multiple file types like this, um, it doesn't really matter which one I start with. I'm just going to choose one and I'm going to select both versions because I would like to use both versions of the font on my website. And I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to generate all of the font types. So we need the TTF, the EOT, um, the wolf files and the SVG files. Um, you could technically uncheck the one that you're already uploading, but I think it's easier just to keep everything checked and generate a complete package with all of your different fonts. So then I'll go to convert and then we'll download this font file. And then if I come in here, I see several different options. Um, some of them, they won't actually work on my computer because I'm using a Mac and they are designed for PCs, but we still need all of these options for our show it website. Things that we don't need are the style sheet and the demo HTML file. So I'm just going to go ahead and trash those. And then we will go back to my show it website. I'm going to open up the media library. I have a special fonts folder that I'm in and then go back to my finder folder and I'm going to select all of these different files and drag them into show it and let them upload. It looks like they are done. So now I can close this window. I'm going to go to site and design settings and fonts. And we're going to add the custom fonts right here. Normally they show up right at the top, which is really helpful so that you don't have to scroll through a big list of fonts. So you'll want it to give them a name editors. And then you need to let show it know that you own a license to use this on your website. I'm going to add that font and then I'm going to do the italic version. So I'll just change the name here and add that custom font. And then if I wanted to make it easier to replace the headlines, I'm going to delete the current headline font, which is this Nanum font. So I'll delete that and I'll click on save. And then if I wanted to try to batch update it on my website, I could even go into design settings, come in here and choose this new font right here um, and then click on save. And then it should start appearing in different spots on my site. You might need to manually set it in some spots. So like if you wanted to use it here where it says inquire, you could use that there, but hopefully by replacing it in some of the headings that helps get you a little bit further in the customization process. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below or reach out to us via our website at davianchrista.com.